Hey everybody, I'm Rocky. I'm Sarah. And welcome back to another edition of Savage Collects. Do 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 do! Yeah! For those of you new here, this is a series about the pins that we already collect. And for those returning, welcome back. And today, if you haven't picked up on the clues... No, it's not a video about Ursula, actually. It's I mean, not. She will make an appearance. Uh, this is uh, uh, my Little Mermaid fantasy pin collection. Her Little Mermaid collection is so vast that we have to figure out clever ways to break this into subsets so that these videos are not 13 hours long. And we still have a ton of pins. <laughs> yep, so I pulled all of my um, fan-made fantasy pins to show uh, you all today. The majority of these pins, I know the, the pin makers, or at least I, I was able to do a little research on them and figure out where um, they came from. I will say though, a lot of these I purchased in live sales that were not from the original sellers. And so it was actually kind of hard for me to like figure out where all these pins originated from. And I have some that I couldn't find an answer to. So throughout this video, I may not have the answer, but if you know where these pins came from, please comment below because I would love to support these small shops and these fantasy pin makers. I just literally couldn't figure out who they were. So we'll start off with one of those. This is the very first one. And um, like I said, I have no idea who made it. Uh, there's nothing on the back except for it says LE75. So I know it's a limited edition pin, but it's just this super sweet Ariel in her um, blue dress with some flowers around it. Having a moment. She Having a moment. She looks touched. Yeah. So if you know, if you know where that one came from, let me know. These have been featured previously, I think mm -hmm. in a couple different videos, at one-off times. We've mm -hmm. had the Haunted Mansion ones, but who, are, who makes these and why are they so good? <laughs> um, all four of these pins are from Alicia's Wonderland. This one's kind of cool. It says, part of your world, and it's Ariel swimming with flounder under the sea. You can see the castle in the backdrop. This says, kiss the girl and it's Ariel and Eric in the boat with the little fish and frogs doing a little musical number. Um, yeah, and then this one has um, Ursula's tentacles, the crown, the triton, flotsam and jetsam. Oh, this is the half Ursula pin. This one's kind of half because she isn't featured, but it is definitely an Ursula pin. Yeah. And then this last one um, is a little different, but she does do other things aside from the Disneyland D shape, and this is the um, king, uh, castle pin. Mm -hmm. uh, at post box art edit. I love this pin so much. Um, this is a limited edition of 100. Lots of fantasy pin makers, if you're not familiar with the fantasy pin world, um, and I'm not even deep into them, I just have somehow acquired a lot of these Little Mermaid ones. Um, but a lot of fantasy pin makers, because um, they're not these like massive, huge production companies, they really only make a handful at a time. Um, and so a lot of times you'll see like a limited edition of 50 or 100. And this is from Disney Aces and it's uh, part of their Tea Time series. So they have a whole bunch of different characters that all have um, like a little cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And they're all these kind of like muted, colors oh yeah yeah they're really cool mm -hmm. almost like almost pastel colors but her hair is still really red so this is a really cool series disney aces hit the baby ariel in front of the castle this one's nice the pin maker put their name on the back of the pin good going pin maker <laughs> we know who you are we can buy more of your stuff yep um i do know that it costs like more money to put your name on the back of pins um so i get it totally understand but it does help me when i buy pins on live sales i actually bought this in a uh, fantastic pins uh, who's a youtube friend of ours she was doing a live sale and had this so i got snagged this from her and this is from pins in things and it's a limited edition of 25. what's incredible is that's what you bought from fran pins and things <laughs> i did yeah <laughs> this pin. May not be the biggest, may not be the flashiest, but it's probably one of the coolest ones out of here. Yeah! 
So those of you familiar with the sisters collection, where it's all of Ariel's hidden Mickey, hidden Mickey collection, mm -hmm. where it's all of her sisters in front of a shell, which you have all of them and the chaser too. I right? have all of them and the chaser. Yeah. This one is Ariel. So you get all of the sisters and it's like the perfect size and artwork. It fits right in. Mm -hmm. It is made by crazy face pins, crazy face pins. We think you have a very pleasant face, not a crazy face. And this is an LE 100. I like it because the back has, as we just remembered, a bunch of dingle hoppers on the back. Does it? It does. Oh, that's nice. And I know that um, Pauline at Mouse and Mermaid, I have been trying to find this pin for her, but I didn't, I actually didn't realize it was an LE 100. Um, so the hunt is on. I know, I told her months ago that I would keep an eye out for her for it and I have not been able to find another one, so. That's why, because they're a limited edition of 100. <laughs> we keep, we haven't given up, Pauline. We're still looking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it, I promise. Woo-wee, this is a big one. This one is um, from the Blue Crew. And it features a whole Ursula. So we're at one and a half Ursulas in this video. <laughs> um, they have a whole series of these um, kind of like half circle archway pins um, from different characters. And I really like this one because you've got the, the main characters are in color in the front, but then set in the background, you've got like the shell and the dingle hopper. What's a thingamabob? A corkscrew? I think so, because she sings about it. The only time she brings up thingamabob, it's when she sings about it. And she has 20, but who cares? No big deal. <gasps> I want more! Next up, we have another Ariel fantasy pin in this Ariel fantasy pin video. I know nothing about it. I'm just talking to this for the sake of hearing my own voice. Tell us about this pin before I keep going. Do, 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 do. Here's another one with Ariel on it. That's what I just said. Um, and she doesn't have a dingle hopper. She has a spoon. I just really like the colors of this one. So she's got her um, top, which is like purple and glittery, and then the two different colors of that, like blue iridescent, and then super cute flounder and scuttle. It's got kind of- That might be the only fantasy pin I have with scuttle on it. Huh. It's also got like, kind of like a Barbie style head artwork on this pin. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, the screen printing is really nice on this one. This is Dia Pins, D-E-A-P-I-N-S on Instagram. Cool. Our good friend Jane at Tragic Kingdom Pins made this little fantasy pin of Flotsam and Jetsam with the Triton. Trident. Trident. Triton is her father. Wow. You know, the guy with the roid rage. Oh man. And I'm pretty sure these are still available on her website. So if you want a little Flotsam and Jetsam pin, go check her out. This is another pin maker that I am not familiar with. I don't know who it is. There's no name on the back. I did try and look it up. I couldn't figure it out. So if you know, please let me know. What I do know is that they have multiple baby villain pins because I have a few others. But I think that this is just stinking adorable with a little flotsam and jetsam. <laughs> this is so cute. My babies. But can you say it like a baby? My babies. Perfect. <laughs> That's... Creepy and weird, but perfect. You know, there's a sound bite in editing that's not gonna come back to haunt me at all. <laughs> These two pins are both from Clubhouse Buttons. I think we've shown this one before. <laughs> this I'm bad. like pretty sure we've shown this one before. Clubhouse Buttons makes great, great pins. The majority of their pins are actually stitch pins that are dressed in other characters. And I have some of those too. First one, is one of those like uh, photo mall booth. photo booth things. And it says part of your world on it. And the first one, they're looking all cute. And then the second one, they're like cross-eyed and making weird faces. And then the third one, they're like, oh, lovey dovey. Oh. Yeah. But my favorite one. I don't know if that's like historically accurate for the time frame that Ariel and Erica and they had photo booths back then? They did. Wow. And malls. Mm-hmm. Okay. Babies. And girl groups. So this does live on my aerial board. However, I go back and forth with this one. Sometimes it lives on my aerial board, sometimes it doesn't, but I don't really have another home for it because Ariel is on this, but oh, I love this pin so much. It's Ariel, uh, Snow White, Tiana, Moana, and Rapunzel as the Spice Girls. I love it so much. So good. Yeah. This is another giant pin. It's giant. 
It's giant. Um, and it just says Ariel Summer Limited Edition 70 on the back. I'm not sure who made this one. I do like the font that they wrote Ariel in on the back. It's a really nice like logo. Oh yeah, it is It is really, really pretty. And there's, I love Ariel in blue dress. Um, it's also really true to the original artwork. She looks like she's drawn from the Disney artist itself. So yeah. It's really accurate. Mm -hmm. And you've got a couple pieces of glitter on here. So her bow is in glitter and then the flower is glitter and you've got Sebastian. And I just think that it's a really sweet pin. And I and I don't know who made it, which yeah. is a bummer. Ariel has got this nice like um, plant, like a surf and turf kind of crab dish that she's about to eat in the pin. Oh my God. There's two more pins that I that I'm not familiar with. This one, it's not really a. I mean, it's a pin. But it's not an enamel pin. It's not an enamel pin. It's like a, like a hardwood, hardboard. That's what it is. Hardboard is the. Yeah, but it looks like the, like the golden book, and they they just kind of I don't know mod podged it on or something. It looks pretty good though. It does look really good, and I actually was zapped it in a live sale. I just think it's really adorable and lives on my board. And then this other one is this super cute little heart. It says, I want to be part of your world. Just super simple. Scrawled out like a ransom note. It kind of looks like a, like a cookie cutter. Like it's like got the- It does, yeah. It's got like- Beveled edges or- Teeth like edges, a yeah. Like a pie tin. I have no idea where it came from. We need you, the detectives of the internet, to find out who the makers of these pins are. Help me. We've shown this one too before. Yes, Sarah has a <laughs> whole set of these things. And this is a giant Ariel, kind of like punk style. Um, she's mm -hmm. got like, the fork is kind of like her pin and her hair and like, yeah, super cute kind of anime style. And this is from Akio Pins. One of my favorites, all time favorites, all time favorites. This I think was my first fantasy pin. You're welcome. And you got it for me, so thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I have a couple of these. I have this one and... Snow White. No, no. Uh, Alice. Is it Alice? It's Alice, yeah. It is Alice. So I have this one and Alice, and these are from Pin Hippie. I've seen a Snow White, but it's more of like a like a safety pin back button and not a traditional pin back, um, where she's just kind of alt out like that as well. Mm -hmm. But I haven't found it in a regular pin. Yeah. It'd be only cooler if it were like set like a, a, a 50s kind of look like a um like a rockabilly yeah like a rockabilly grease-esque kind of look yeah uh so like this one just like that one yeah <laughs> we're smooth this is part of there's like a jean jacket series from this pin maker and this is lil lil jane art makes these and she has a whole series of different princesses in these like rockabillies like this um like rosie the, the riveter like hairstyle and the jean jackets that, that has all of the patches on it that kind of like relate to the character. <laughs> we just got this one not too long ago and it is my, hey, my, I keep saying these are my favorite, but this one might be my favorite artistic impression of Ariel. It is a chubby little kitten <laughs> with a little fish in her mouth <laughs> dressed up as Ariel. I don't know what else to say about it besides it's so adorable. Yeah. So this is from Cherry Pop, at Cherry Pop. I went and I looked, so this was a gift um, from a good friend of ours. And I went and looked at their Instagram page. And now I, I found out why our friend found this pin. Because their Instagram page is like BTS, 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 Ariel pin, BTS, 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 BTS. So they have, all of these BTS pins and then this little cat thing and then all these other BTS pins um, like stuck in the middle. So it's super cute. It is super cute. Yeah. This one. Oh my God. This is Ariel and Eric in the dirty dancing scene. No one puts Ariel in a corner. No. Are there corners of the ocean? Well, figuratively maybe. But daddy, I love him. You're 16. <laughs> He's 27. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, Ariel. I'm mad at Eric. He should exercise better restraint and judgment. <laughs> this pin is from Who's It's and What's It's. My babies. Shabam. 
This is my newest fantasy pin. And this is um, a series called Gatsby Girls. It's a limited edition of 50. And it comes from, uh, the pin maker is, called, is Scotty Dog Pins. Pink Dress Ariel is definitely not my favorite. Um, but what I really, what drew me to this pin is, well, the Gatsby style mm -hmm. to begin with. I really, really like. And then the, like these, the detail in the drips over here, I just think are really cool. And the screen printing in her hair, I think is really pretty. So I can ignore the yellow dress. I mean the- You can ignore the pink dress. <laughs> the pink dress, um, because I love so much of the rest of the pin. And Sebastian, little pin on pin Sebastian. And he's hiding under the lettuce. Yeah, he learned his lesson from the previous pin that we were talking about <laughs> where she had him in a flower. <laughs> Last one. Well, this one's pretty fantastic. It is, and I don't know who made this one. Again, internet detectives, we need you. I don't think we've, I'm pretty sure we've shown this one before too, but I don't have an answer yet. So I'm gonna just keep showing it until somebody watches a video of ours and can tell us who made this pin. But it's Eric is Aquaman. <laughs> I've never seen any of the uh Aquaman movies. You know, doesn't I, matter. I think he's he is in Justice League and he has his own movie and they're coming out with a second, but Jason Momoa, um, before Jason Momoa, Aquaman was by far like the worst character. He was like just this dude who ran around in green underwear and a golden shirt and had a trident and talked to dolphins. Not a lot going on for Aquaman. This is definitely an improvement. <laughs> We want to know what your favorite Ariel pin from this video, or Ursula, because we know that she's the superior character in this movie. What pin you like the best? Tell us in the comments below. If you know who the makers of some of these pins are that we didn't, please comment and let us know. We are hunting for them. We would like to give them credit and also we'll buy more because their stuff's cool. That's all we got. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button down below. For more content, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified of future videos, click that little bell next to that subscribe as well. Until next time, stay savage. Bye! Bye. Flounder, and I like that she's carrying a bag that has the um, uh, thingamabob. Thingamabob is fork, right? Oh I God, I'm failing. Right? A thingamabob is a fork. I think so. You're the Little Mermaid professional. I'm just here for color commentary. Oh, I should know these things. I need to rewatch the movie because it's been like years since I rewatched it. Dingle Hopper. It's a Dingle Hopper. It's a Dingle Hopper. Oh my God. I have a use in this video. <sighs> I failed. <laughs>